YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Bubba, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review. I hope you guys are having an incredible day and night whenever you guys are watching this video. As you guys know, Fantasy Foot Team 2 was dropped today, and with that came a new objectives card. Last week, we had the likes of Geary, but this week, we have a more defensive player, and he looks like a pretty solid card. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and review none other than Juan Foyth. Foyth is an 86 rated card with 83 pace, 53 shooting, 76 passing, 80 dribbling, 87 defense and 84 physical. He stands at 6 foot 2, has medium high work rates, right footed with 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. If we go ahead and look at his alternative positions boys, we can see a lot of versatility with the card which is great to see. He can play center defensive mid, right wing back, right back and also center back. If we go ahead and look at his in game stats boys, we can see that the card is a very well built defensive player. 83 pace with 82 acceleration and 84 sprint speed is pretty decent for a defender or center defensive mid wherever you end up playing him. 53 shooting is the lowest stat on the card, but you're not really going to be put into situations where you are taking shots with fourth, so not really a big deal if I'm being completely honest. 76 passing is pretty decent. You would probably want him to have a bit higher passing if you do want to play him in that midfield position. 72 vision, 84 short pass is really good, and then also 76 long pass. 80 dribbling is actually pretty decent for the card. He does have 77 agility, 79 balance, and also 84 reactions with 86 ball control. And then boys, the two standout stats on the card, his 87 defending and 84 physical, really, really solid defending stats, 89 stand tackle, 87 defensive awareness, uh, 86 interceptions. And then if we go ahead and look at his physical, he does have 80 stamina, which is pretty decent. Uh, he should be able to last a full 90, 80 jumping, 85 strength, and a huge 86 aggression. As you guys know, the card does have the potential to get a few upgrades. You would expect him to make three appearances in the next six games for Villarreal. And then you would also expect Villarreal to win at least one game out of the next six. So you can definitely see a plus two upgrade on the card, maybe even a plus three upgrade. If we go ahead and look at his player trades, boys, we do see only one added bonus with the card. He does have the dives into tackles trait. If you guys do enjoy these FIFA 23 player reviews, go ahead and do me a huge favor. If you guys can, leave a like on today's video. Let's try to get this video to 30 likes and then also consider subscribing to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. This is the team, boys, that we're going to be using in a few games of foot champions to test out the new fourth card. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, boys, here we are jumping into our very first game using the new fourth card. And we're going to be using him at the center defensive mid uh, position in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation. So hopefully he's actually half decent. All right, boys, let's see our first few touches with the fourth card. He feels pretty quick. I mean, he does have like, what, 80 dribbling? Which isn't too bad for a center defensive mid or maybe even the defensive player. It actually feels quite quick. It's a good little tackle by Bobby Moore. Ceballos. Now into Foyth. Now I do think that Foyth, as a center defensive mid, you would maybe want him to have a bit better passing. But he does have 84 short pass, which is really good. Played out wide instead of Kelme. It's a good ball. Let's go back into Foyth. Maybe try to split some of the midfielders. Okay, that's a pretty poor pass right there. Noted. Good interception by Bobby Moore. Foyth. The good ball into the Kelme. Nice heel to heel finish. Come on, boys. Okay, so we do get an assist with the fourth card. Pretty decent passing right there. We'll take it. The Kelme with a good interception. Here's fourth. Does have three star skill moves and also three star weak foot. Pretty decent acceleration right there. The decent pass into Ceballos. Good turn. Finish. Okay, so Foyth gets himself another assist. My opponent isn't the greatest. Pretty decent acceleration right there. And again, a pretty solid pass as well. 2 0. We'll take it. Foyth. Nice little heel to heel. Yeah, man, he's actually pretty quick. So far, he's been pretty solid at the defensive mid position. I don't know if I'd play him at right back, if I'm being completely honest. Foyth, take your space. Whoa, good sprint speed. Foyth, finish. Oh, three-star weak foot and like, what, 57 shooting. Yeah, that was a good run, though. Really good sprint speed, really good acceleration. Mendy, good tackle. Foyth picks it up. Oh, it looks like the Kelme's making a really good run. That's a great pass by Foyth. We'll take it. Drop it back. Depay near post. Let's go, boys. That's a fantastic play right there. Foyth with a fantastic through ball. Doesn't get the assist, but he is involved in the play, which is fantastic. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, Foyth has maybe like 57 long shots. Let's try it. Hey, for 57 long shots, whatever it is, that was actually pretty decent. Foyth. Ball into Rodrigo. Play back to him. One more. Good pass. Finish. Oh, he should be getting himself another assist right there. Unlucky. Uh, my opponent's really starting to pressure. That's a great interception by Foyth. That's what you want him to do at that center defensive mid position. Good interception by Dekelme. Here's Foyth. Plays it into Rodrigo. 
Good positioning right there. Rodrigo plays a fantastic through ball into the pie. Can we get one more? Oh, what a finish by Memphis. That's beautiful play right there. Again, not an assist for fourth, but he is involved in the play. That's all you can really ask for. Fourth picking up a good position. Good acceleration right there. We'll play it into Forlan. Nice little heel to heel beats the defender. Finish. Oh, the shot wasn't great, man. But fourth, again, nice little heel to heel. Good pass as well. Could have gotten himself an assist. Gonna join the attack. Nice pass, one more. No, I wanted to play it to fourth. Here he is. Nice little heel to heel beats his man. Heavy touch right there. Nice. Play back to him. Boy, the good ball into the Kelme. Nice little five-star skill move. Finish. Depay, finish. Come on, boys. We get one back. Foyth with the good ball. He should have gotten himself an assist because the Kelme should have finished. But we do get a goal back. Nice. No, Fortalan, get out of the way, man. It can't always be about you. Boyth does it again. Power shot. <laughs> boys, he has like 57 long shots. Come on. One Foyth. What a finish, man. In the 41st minute. We'll take it 2-2. Two, two. That is something that I did not expect. Yes, big tackle. Sabayos, fourth. Ooh, good ball through the legs. Rikelme is making a good run. Depay with a good ball. Come on, Rikelme. Finish. Oh, come on, boys. What a finish right there by Rikelme. We'll take it. Fourth again involved in the play. He's been actually really solid at that defensive mid position. Played into fourth. Good dribbling right there. Close control. Love it. Played into the Kelme. Maybe back into the pie. We'll try a power shot. Ooh, finish. Come on, boys. We get a bit of luck right there. Foyth with some really good control in the center of the pitch. Good down to Foyth. Just looking for options. No one really in support. Good dribbling, though. Really nice dribbling. I'm telling you, for a big man, he feels quite, quite agile, which is really nice. The ball into Ceballos. Can he get himself an assist? Come on, boys. Great finish by Ceballos. Great little control again by Foyth in the center of the pitch. Beautiful. Back into fourth. Ceballos is making a good run. I guess we'll play back to him. No real options at the moment. Ceballos. Ceballos, beautiful. Played across. Finish. Come on, boys. That's a brilliant team goal. Really, really good team goal. Fourth. Ceballos, Depay, beautiful. No one really in support, so we got to kind of possess. Here's fourth. Good dribbling. Ooh, good touch around Bale as well. Gets up. Still has possession. We'll play it on the inside. Here's Forlan. Nice heel to heel. Ceballos picks it up. Can we score? Come on, boys. We'll take it, man. Fourth again, he's involved. Great finish right there by Ceballos. 2-1 just before halftime. Back into Rodrigo. Here's Fourth. Can we make something happen? Fourth. Oh, Fourth. Oh, my God. He's still with it. Near post. No. I wanted it to be on his right foot. But good control again. He's still with it. Fourth. Finish. Pogba, move on. Go on, Fourth. Oh, sends Pogba. He's still with it. He's still with the finish. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's fourth being really, really good or that's my opponent with bad defending. But we'll take it, man. What a strike right there. Three-star weak foot. Top bins, boys. Nice interception by Bobby Moore. See, boys, that's what I'm talking about. Right now, he's just a bit tired. Like, his stamina bar really, really low. Good ball into Forlan. Finish. Come on, boys. But his passing is apparently really good. We'll take it, man. Great finish by Forlan. Another assist for fourth. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Juan Foyt Fantasy Foot card in three games of Foot Champions. In those three games, he managed to pick up two goals and also get four assists from the center defensive mid position, which in my humble opinion is a great return. So boys, as you guys know, in order to complete the card, it is eight games of squad battles or rivals, eight wins uh, to be exact. You have to score a couple goals, get a couple assists, and then also assist with the cross in three games. Um, and for that, man, you're getting a very, very good card. And I highly recommend you guys go ahead and complete the objective if you do have the time. The three pros that I did with this with the card were definitely his pace, his defending, and then also his physicality. 83 pace overall is really solid for a center defensive mid center back or right back, depending on where you want to go ahead and play him. 82 acceleration with 84 sprint speed. And if you go ahead and throw on the anchor chemistry style, it does make him lengthy. And I think that's the best option for the card. The two standout stats, in my opinion, boys, obviously his 87 defending, great interceptions, great defensive awareness, stand tackle and slide tackle. And then also 84 physical. He's very strong in game with 85 strength and then also really good aggression on the card. The one con that I did witness with the card was his 80 stamina, boys. So although he does have really good physical stats, 80 stamina is a bit of a letdown, especially if you do want to play him at that center defensive mid position. And then obviously, boys, in this stage of FIFA, uh, three star, three star really isn't the move, if you ask me. 
Um, but he is one of those players where you just want him to be a bit more uh, defensive, strong, you know, intercept the play, bring the ball forward. You don't really need the four star skill moves, four star weak foot, but it would have been nice to see. So boys, we come to the question, is the card worth grinding for? And in my opinion, it's a definite yes. I love objective cards. I feel like that's what Ultimate Team is all about. Um, for an 86 rated card, eight games in squad battles or rivals, whatever you do end up playing. Uh, it's a great, great option if you do run a La Liga team. And then he does also have the potential to get a few upgrades. So it's a win-win situation for me. And if you do have the time, I do highly recommend that you guys go ahead and complete the fourth objective. But that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another FIFA 23 player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel as we are on the road to 1,100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy, Booba, and I'll catch you guys in another video very, very soon. Peace.